I'm Tammy. I'm Lisa. I'm Emily. And you're watching Hot Rod Madness. Hot Rod Madness, where we believe that every car has a story. Whether your car is a ground pounding, tire smoking street machine, or a trophy winning classic with blinding chrome and paint, Hot Rod Madness wants to hear your story. Who knows? Maybe your story will inspire future generations to dream, build, and own their own classic ride. Here to bring you those stories is the host of Hot Rod Madness, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Let's join Hot Rod Madness as they travel to Lineville, Alabama for the 29th annual Clay County Car Show and Swap Meet. The success of this event has truly been remarkable as the proceeds benefit the Shriners Hospitals. Bob, how are you, man? I'm doing great. Right. Great day. Beautiful day Isn't for it? a car show, right? I tell you. Lineville, Alabama. Uh, Bob, this is the first time I've been able to come out and, and see the event. And I'm going, wow, what an event, man. I, I know it got rained out maybe last year. Last year. Yeah. First year in 28 years it rained. Wow, 28 years. Yeah, this and is the 29th rained. year, okay. so made up for it. Sure did, because you got a heck of a turnout here, man. The the hill behind me, that hill, this hill, it's all full. Yep. Nice, yeah, man. That's good to see, isn't it? Yep, it is. A uh, lot of beautiful people and beautiful hot rods Absolutely. In this got everything rat rods and Rolls Royces. Everything's here. Yep. Uh, yeah, I walked the hill up there earlier, and there's there's a lot to see up there. A lot of smiling faces. Oh, Bob. yeah, everybody likes oh, it. This, so, is, this is the event for Clay County. Yeah, okay. So so you came up with this event, right? Well, Tommy Hicks and I did. 20, okay. yeah, 29 years ago, wow. we decided... We wanted to do something for the Shrine Hospital. Okay. And we thought, well, you know, both of us are into cars. We'll do a car show. Okay. Well, the first show we ever had, we had about 150 cars. All right. And Tommy and I had the vision of this, Wow. you know, way back then, and everybody thought we were crazy. Damn. So, you know, back then, 150 cars was a good big car show. Yeah, it was. And we yeah. kept saying, we could have 1,000 cars, 1,000 cars. Yeah. Everybody thought we were crazy. Well, you see, every year it's yeah. kept growing and growing and yeah. growing. And it's yeah. funny, you walk around and you listen to people that hadn't been here before. You know, mm -hmm. the first time, that would be from Atlanta or somewhere. Sure, and yeah. They'll look around. They'll be on their cell phone and talking to their buddy. Says, you ain't going to believe this, yeah. you know, and yeah. you won't. You know, unless you're here, you won't believe yeah, it. Yeah, sure. All right, man. Shane, how you doing, sir? Just fine, sir. How are you? All right, man. Hey, always a pleasure to talk to somebody who builds 50 model pickup trucks. Yes. What year is this one? That's 51. A 51. And yes. the one beside it? 48. Okay. And you're responsible for the build on both of these, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, beautiful, man. Love Thank the you. choice of colors. Love the body styles, the wheels. Love everything about them. <laughs> yeah. They're two different, completely styles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, nice, man. Nice, nice car. All right. You got a garage in your backyard, or do you have a shop? I have a shop in my backyard. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And I've been building these for about thirty years. So about thirty years. Yeah. Wow. So I still have my first car. Yeah. Yeah. So a thirty-six Ford I've had since I was eighteen. Okay. So it was the first street rod mm -hmm. painted in the yard. So, yeah. so now it's took off. Man. Okay. Now I bet you you got uh, people from all over coming. Hey man, will you do mine? <laughs> Live outside of Huntsville, and they still bring them three hours yep, up there. Yep. So I, I don't, I don't know if people realize this. You know, as many of these trucks there are running around, custom slammed on the ground, perfect bodies. It's hard to imagine what all goes into putting one together. Yes, absolutely. These trucks are very unique. These two trucks are sitting on the S10 truck frames. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Three fifties, mm -hmm. seven hundred hours. Gotcha. So. Everything's brand new on them except the body mm -hmm. sheet metal. And a lot of that's new too. We had to make a lot of a lot of pieces yeah. was handmade for it. And even when you buy new parts and pieces for the bodies, they're you not, still gotta yeah, tweak them, don't oh, you? Oh yeah, they're yeah. not made perfect. Yeah. Yep. They're not made perfect. So big hey. fan of the body styles, man. I love these trucks. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's well, nothing like we it. We added a lot of extra to them. They got, mm. This has got an Oldsmobile hood armament on it, and the one over there has got yeah. a Pontiac on it. It's, that was built more into the custom the 48 over there is. Yeah. So. Okay. It's, hey, man, pop yeah. the hood on it. I want to see what how, how do you set one up in Alabama? Hmm. There we go. All right. Cadillac breather. Yeah, yeah. The air cleaner so, matches the paint job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's all. Okay. It's all. It ain't got 5,000 miles on it. The mm -hmm. engine and everything. So it's got a small cam and all in it. So. Okay. What kind of front end did you go with? It's all S10 frame. All S10? All the, all the suspension. The suspension's not been lowered. Yeah. It's just the body lowered over the frame. Okay. So it's it's no kit put on it. And I handmade all the all the body mounts, everything. And the motor mounts? The motor mounts is made. I made all that. Okay. Wow. So it's, right. there's nothing there's nothing bought and put on it. No no kit. Yeah. Okay. So it was all basically this one was done before the kits was ever come out. So, yeah. Okay. So I've been building on this truck about four years in between mm -hmm. paying jobs and all right. then this one was a I did it before I finished this one up. I start finished that one first. Gold. That yes. thing sets really nice with them uh, gold and white walls over there. Yep. That fifty seven caddy. Hub yeah. caps on it. Okay. And so hey man, pop the hood on that one. Let's yeah. check it out. Sure. 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 Why not? Let's check them all out while we're here. All right. He wants twenty-four five for this one in bronze, and the gold one. How much are you asking for this one here? He's asking twenty-eight for it. Twenty-eight for right. this one. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Got the polished Uga horn going on here. Oh yeah. All right. Now, what does this air cleaner come off of? That's, that's a basically oh uh, just a regular chrome air cleaner mm -hmm. and somebody else had started this and made the double barrel and we bought it at a swap meet okay. and i took it and finished it in yeah. and the owner he said that he had to have that on it so wow. it looked i didn't make that i can't take customer okay. credit for it, it so it does look pretty neat <laughs> it is it is neat yeah. it is different yeah nice, but, but this is this one's on S10 frame also. Okay, now, hey, I know there's a lot of aftermarket places that you can buy chrome pieces for these trucks. Where do you get your grills and your bumpers from? Different places. We buy a lot of We buy a lot of them from Brothers. I got some yeah. from CPI okay. up here, up road up here in Roanoke, Alabama. Yeah. So it's a... Do you wait for that uh, yearly sale that Brothers has? Like so, everybody else. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. After Christmas sale hey, sometimes. I, I think they got a really good deal on them grills. Yeah, they, you they know they what do. they cost, yes. you know, yep. the, the, the good chrome stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. But we get a lot of them from different places. Everybody who's run them on the, mm -hmm. on the deal, Dave, Dave, Dave's truck, yep. fly, Dave's truck's uh, supply, we got some of the grills and all from mm -hmm. him. So, yeah. It's, all right. Hey man, you went with the big trailer mirrors. Yeah, oh yeah, those West Coast trucks. Yeah, yeah, the juniors. West Coast mirrors. Well, Let's yeah. take a peek at the interior, man. Sure. All right, what we got for interior in this thing? Uh, this guy's. Oh he's yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. He's old school guy up here out of Hope's Bluff, Alabama. He, uh, Mike Hunt, done the interior in this truck, and yeah. so we put an Impala steering wheel in it. And he, nice. He's got the Fulton visor and then the dummy spotlights, right. and so. This guy does, he does all this guy's interior in it. So. Oh, man, he did a great job. Look at that. Gold and white on the inside. Looks yeah. beautiful. That's gorgeous. And, and you kept the uh, original top seat in the thing and yeah. made it look good. Yes, yeah, sir. That's that's, that's cool. That, that's the that's short man's seat right there. You yeah. Be, can't be a tall man sitting in that yeah. one right there. Yeah, there's. We did the, the bed inside. On this one, there's a piece mm -hmm. of diamond plate. But them strips is off of a 84 Malibu station wagon. Okay. That's the roof rail strips. Wow. And so, we, and they all are different lengths. If you notice, you have to put them in a, oh. in the same pattern they was on top of that wagon. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you can't haul much in the bed after you get done uh, customizing yeah, them. The, the frame comes up in them, and yeah. if you don't use the, the kit where they lower the lower it down, you if mm -hmm. you want them set this low, it has a raised bed in it, mm -hmm. or okay. or put the tubs in it, put the wheels up in the back. Yeah. And we didn't want to put the tubs in it, so we just raised the floor up. We don't haul nothing in it, no yeah, way. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> it's yeah, it it's a gonna, custom ride. Yeah, you don't want to haul nothing in there. We ain't going to haul nothing in it. So, All right, Shane, thanks for showing your rides here on Hot Rod Madness, okay. buddy. They're gorgeous. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hot Rod Madness. We invite you to check back with us soon as Tim the Milkman checks out more awesome rides from the Clay County Car Show in Lineville, Alabama. From all the crew, thanks for watching.
Hot Rod Madness.